this is a case with an uh, verbal history of uh, nep right nephrectomy 14 years back and has come for pyuria. This is the liver. This area is the liver, it is long. This is the diaphragm and this is the area of the renal where the right kidney could have been. Now in place of the right kidney, what we are seeing is a thick wall bag of now you see there is a thick wall bag it does not move with the respiration. The most important thing to remember is that uh, it is not moving with the respiration. You can see the respiration of the liver, uh, the movement of the liver with the respiration, but this uh, mass, this area, this area, is not moving with the respiration whereas the kidney moves with the respiration second important thing is you see that the posterior wall enhancement this is the posterior wall enhancement through the cystic area within this uh, bag of uh, pre bag this is my years approximately you know this is the area of study which is in the right number region my years my years 11.1 centimeters in length and 7.2 millimeters and 7.2 centimeters in anterior posterior diameter or depth with the equigenic area with equigenic areas within this bag as well as calcification. This is the area of spirit in the region of the, this is the region of the, the right number region and uh, this is the longitudinal section of the area of study. This area of study, we see calcification, dense pores, echogenic area within it, measuring approximately 17.2 millimeters, along with this evenly echogenic solid area, which is hanging from the medial wall of the, this cystic bag with internal calcifications and solid area. This is the solid area that measures 42.7 millimeters and, uh, and uh, uh, 29.9 millimeters is evenly echogenic with no posterior shadowing seen from it. Now this calcification gives a serious shadow. There is another dense coarse echogenic area seen at the mid anterior region of this bag with posterior shadowing. This, this is debris. This is the debris within this uh, echogenic material. This is the fluid part 
So this is uh, a picture of complicated, complex cystic and solid uh, area in the region of the uh, uh, right lumbar region where the right kidney should have been. This is the location of the right kidney and uh, post op it has changed into uh, approximately we can say without any investigations or detailed reports that this is a case of excess uh, uh, formation with calcification and uh, sludge, thick sludge that is adhering to the interior wall of this bag of pus. If you see this, this picture or if uh, the kidney was not removed and partial, uh, only a stone was removed from the kidney, then this will, then this case, then this picture will suffix with pyrodefritis. Whereas when the kidney is not there, we will say that this is a complex cystic and solid mass with internal calcification then it, this is the transverse view. Number sa like a saropro. Saropro. Let's see the transverse view. Number sa roko. Now this is the transfer section where in which it fires. Eight point four centimeters by six. Uh, six point four centimeters, sorry, by uh, seven point five centimeter. It's cystic and solid. This is the cystic area. This is the cystic area. This is the solid area, evenly epigenic, and this is the calcification within it. This is the calcification within it, and see the posterior shadowing from this calcified moon shaped area. Now this is the wall of the cystic area. This is the wall of the cystic area, and uh, the wall mayors. This is the wall, the three wall. It may is approximately 2.1 centimeters. It's quite thick. So it's a thick wall. Cystic area. With patient in supine posture again, you see that uh, this is the region of the right kidney. Where is the source muscle? This is the source muscle. And there is no movement of this cystic area with respiration. Important point. Second. Transfers. You see, you know, had it been a kidney, you had not been able to see the so strong posterior back wall enhancement. This one. So this is coming through this cystic area within this uh, complex cystic and solid mass in the region of the right uh, in the right lumbar region, replacing the kidney. So this is an infective nature of the cyst, complicated cyst with internal calcification giving sharp posterior shadow as a multiple epigenic area scattered throughout and with fluid within it. So this is the case of fire. Uh, pyogenic capsules and if you had not been provided with the history of nephrectomy and or uh, the uh, passage of uh, pus then the, the differential would have been different as this may would have uh, then 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 this this cystic area complex cystic area would have been 
labeled as some aggressive nature of pathology uh, or a tumor. So you see the thick wall. This is a thick wall, irregular thick wall, ecogenic area, fluid. Posterior wall enhancement is always seen in the cystic, cystic area, not in the kidney, not by the kidney. Moreover, you saw that it does not move with respiration. Thank you.